Madison County credit, they, they boxed out. They got more offensive rebounds than we did. We didn't do a bad job defensively. We just went into a scoring lull and uh, looked like we were uh, playing with tired legs. I don't know if the game last night and a big win on the road had an effect on that, but we've got to be able to handle that and, and come in to, tonight and play. So hats off to Madison County. They had a good game plan, executed well, and we just got to do like we normally do and score together. Talk about possibly having tired legs from the, the a tough game last night, but uh, in about a month you're going to have to be able That's to right. do that. So right. so playing a game like this, obviously, even though you lose, it's got to be a help. Yeah, it's good for us. I mean, that's why we play a tough off uh, area schedule is try to play against as much competition as you can and learn from it and get better. Uh, tell me what uh, the girls did tonight. Play hard for 32 minutes. That's what I told them in the pregame that we, we have had this team on the ropes a few times before and come back and just not play the full 32 minutes. They played a full 32 minutes on both ends of the floor tonight. And that's what it basically came down to. What, what have you got to do moving forward to get better? I'll just keep working like we're doing. That's all we have to do. We're not worried about the rankings. You know, we have played some 6A and 5A schools and play on and on, number one team in 4A. So we have played some good competition. So I guess we have a little more losses than they want you to have to be in the top 10. But hey, but my girls are doing everything that we are asking of them. So I'm proud of them.